bunch of gunshots go off and everybody started running and screaming in the store. It was a wild scene in a very public area as a carjacking suspect is shot dead by sheriff's deputies. It happened this afternoon at the Food Max parking lot on Truxel Road. Good evening. Thanks for joining us. I'm Tony Lopez. And I'm Sharon Merge. CBS 13's Mugo Digway joins us live with the very latest. And Mugo, what can you tell us at this hour? Well, this is still a very active scene. Police officers have been out here since about 12 this afternoon. Take a look here. You can see police tape blocking off much of the parking lot, and you see several police cars still out here. In the middle of the parking lot, you can see a white van. It appears the suspect's body was placed in there about 10 minutes ago. And if you look at the parking lot, several cars still out here. These belong to customers who were shopping in the store when the shooting happened. They can't get their car because this place is still blocked off. We spoke with us, several witnesses who say they're still trying to process what happened. I was on the phone and all I hear is boom, 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 boom. This woman who doesn't want to be identified says she was sitting in her car outside the Food Max parking lot when she heard gunshots. I was terrified because I've never been so close to a shooting before. Another woman we spoke with was inside the Food Max when the shooting started. I heard a bunch of gunshots go off and everybody started running and screaming in the store. The Sacramento County Sheriff's Department says two of their deputies shot and killed a suspect in the parking lot. This all started from an event which took place in a neighboring jurisdiction uh, after a, a theft um, from a, a local store. The suspect, described as a white male in his 40s, was wanted by Elk Grove police after a shoplifting and carjacking incident on Saturday. But when county deputies found him inside a car Monday afternoon... Suspect exited the vehicle and posed an immediate threat to both deputies. Sergeant Vance Chandler of Sacramento City Police says the deputies shot the man. He died at the scene. Based on what we know right now, we have recovered a uh, weapon that was of the suspect, and that's, that weapon was located in prox, uh, close proximity of the vehicle. Police say a woman was in the driver's seat of the car the suspect was found in. They have detained her for questioning. Meanwhile, those who heard the gunshots... So a little shaky. I mean, it's scary that it happened so close to home. The Sacramento Police Department has now taken over the investigation of the shooting because it happened in their city limits. We'll be sure to update you with any new information. Certainly glad nobody else was injured in this. Mugo, thank you.